Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol CPRX. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So all this here may look like several days worth of time. It's actually today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like to this time frame and has a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price and then makes mapping out levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. Did this analysis on Wednesday, so that is where the green line here is coming from. But I'm just gonna go ahead and get the chart updated here, and I'm gonna just use this line as the near-term level. Sure, that level all the way down there does still pertain. It's just not really relevant right now, and from a presentation standpoint, I don't wanna risk causing confusion because there's lines and clutter all over the place. So let's try to keep this as clean as possible. First area of support, one of the newest areas, what I would call the ideal level of support would be right up here at the $4 mark. Now, don't get me wrong. If the price falls below four, I am not saying the entire chart's destroyed or ruined or anything like that. But yeah, if the price could manage to stay up above four, that would definitely be a huge sign of power going forward. Taking a step back and looking at all this from the bigger picture point of view, that is where the purple line here comes into play the famous 50 period simple moving average, keyword being moving. As time goes by, that line is going to move itself higher and higher. So a very basic yet highly effective way to judge the health of the move, that right there being defined as the move. Just watch that purple line. As long as the price stays above that line, as the line itself moves higher and higher, then the bulls are in full health, the bulls are in full control. However you can best visualize that, that is what is being represented. Again, yeah, staying above four would be great, but from the grand scheme of it all, as long as the price is above that purple line, the bulls 100% own the chart. In terms of the seller's rate and resistance levels, nothing fancy, nothing complicated here other than the fact that the party finally stopped today up there at $4.30. So $4.30 will be public enemy number one going into Friday. All in all though, as I've said in past videos and am going to continue to say, as long as the price keeps doing what it's been doing, meaning building these higher bases, or if you wanna picture those as stair steps, then overall everything else will take care of itself eventually, including breaking levels of resistance. So just continue to focus on those healthy consolidations and building those higher bases, and just sit back and let the trend do its thing. One of the biggest questions that I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.